Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Hero bringing Virgos their weekly love read. Virgos, this is for the week of March 7th through the 13th. We are going to get cards on you, them, and the connection. Um, and we're going to get some message cards and then we're going to finish off the read with an oracle card from Higher Intuition. I should say Higher Intuition Oracle card. Um, these are general reads, so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest. Um... If you feel like this is not your read, feel free to check your moon and your rising signs. Uh, if you don't know what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will give you that information. There's also a link in the description box that will uh, send you to my personal webpage if you're interested in a personal read. Sorry, I get distracted by these cards. Holy gosh. Ooh, Virgos. Oh my goodness. Um, nice. So the bottom of the deck, Virgos, is the Four of Wands. This is a Twin Flame card, the eleven eleven card in Tarot. This is a Twin Flame stability. Um, this is a great card to have in a love read for overall energy. Um, I feel like this, this is a potentially definite Twin Flame connection because we have the Twin Flame card. You're showing up as the Emperor. The Empress is showing up in your in your connection as well as the the lovers card so i feel like and the other thing that's weirdly showing up is this uh queen of pentacles which um you when i think of virgos king of pentacles would be a virgo um so the queen of pentacles is the king of pentacles match anyways let's get into this read but definite uh twin flame connection here definite twin flame connection all right, let's see what we have. So Virgos, you're showing up as the Queen of Swords, the Emperor, and the Three of Swords. So I feel like right now, Virgos, you're going through some hardship. You're, you're enduring some sadness, some heartbreak. Um, this doesn't have to be from a breakup. It could just be like you're really heartbroken or saddened about a situation. Um, you know, I feel like that could be tons of things, right? That could be tons of things. You're just feeling very sad. You're feeling sad. However, whatever the sadness has done has created you to um, kind of turn into this queen of swords, which is an air sign. But um, the tendencies tend to be being a very critical thinker to thinking with your head and not with your heart. Um, maybe, you know, perhaps you feel like when you think with your heart, that's where this hurt comes from, right? Um, but when you kind of take your heart out of it and use your head, um, you can see clearly more things um, and you don't feel so affected by other people's actions because you're thinking critically, right? Like you're you're taking your heart out of it. Um, but you are showing up as the emperor. So this is you showing up as the divine, divine, <laughs> the divine counterpart to uh, your person. This is the boss card. I mean, that's the best way to say it, right? This is a protector. This is a provider. This is someone who can be authoritative. This is someone who takes care of his. This is a very uh, great card uh, to show up as in a love read, right? Because you are showing up as a divine counterpart. Male or female is irrelevant. Um, this is just uh, one part of the divine counterpart situation, the emperor. Now, your person... Um, I feel like they're really trying to get their life in balance here with this two of pentacles. They are definitely struggling with, it could be like between like a relationship and work or their thoughts and their feelings. It can be just kind of they're out of whack in a lot of different ways and they're really trying to get balance. I, I feel like either they're bored or they're feeling like they missed out on an opportunity here of some sort or they're worried about missing out on something or they're worried about just not doing the right thing like um like not they're worried about like thinking I should have done that like I thought I should have done that they're like worried about missing an opportunity I really just feel like they're really out of balance um but they are showing up as this queen of pentacles so this queen of pentacles is a nurturing energy is a caretaker as well is is loyal is committed is a provider so um and usually very stable and, and grounded. Um, but I feel like for whatever reason, they're off balance. And they're kind of feeling like they missed out or they, they might be bored or they might make a wrong choice is kind of what I'm feeling. But they're showing up as the, the match to the king of pentacle energy that Virgo is usually in. 
And then, so at the bottom of the deck, we have um, the Empress. Oh my gosh, we have another... I didn't even know we had the Ten of Cups under there. Holy smokes, guys. I was only getting three cards, and you guys got five. Um, I, this just reiterates that this is a soulmate twin flame. This is a, a divinely guarded counterpart right here. We have... Um, let me... We have... Okay, so the bottom of the deck is the Twin Flame Stability card, right? Then we have the Ten of Cups, which is True Love, Soulmate, Happily Ever After, House, Husband, Wife, Dog, Cat, Kids, Rainbows and Sunshine. So, 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 so much love. I didn't even know that card was there. Then we have the Empress, which is the Empress with the Emperor. Um... We have someone who is nurturing, who is loving, who is caring, who is empathetic, who is abundant, who multiplies whatever you give her. Um, she is uh, nurturing, if I didn't already say that, she's just amazing. Um, so this connection, I feel like, is totally divinely guided. Then we have the lover's card, which is soulmate, true love, energy here. It can be a choice in love, but I'm not really picking that up. Um, I just feel like, perhaps because of your three of wands, or three of swords energy and your person's kind of juggling and or balancing things and, and kind of apathetic or bored kind of feeling. I feel like this um, situation is kind of slow moving, right? So if you're in a relationship, I feel like maybe someone has kind of taken a step back to find some solitude. This is the hermit card, but it's also a Virgo card. So that could be you Virgos um, kind of pulling back and taking a step back. Um, but moving forward in the situation at a slow and steady pace. So the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck. Um, but he moves slow and steadily. He is consistent. He is loyal. He is committed to the cause, right? So I feel like um, there is some sadness on your part. There is some kind of wishy-washy stuff on their part. But overall, this connection is undeniably divinely guided undeniably divinely guided um and i think we'll we'll end up just fine all right guys we're going to get a couple of sacred healing journey cards from angelic revelation 144 oh gosh that scared me <laughs> the birds chirping it sounded like they were like right in the house um assessing risks weighing options musical messages love songs Headed in the right direction, yeah. Dark night of the soul, anxiety, anxiousness, sleepless nights, and depression. I feel like maybe that's you were kind of struggling with that or your person, um, but I feel like that's gone away. Engagement, will you marry me? Yes. Um, I feel like uh, you are headed in the right direction. Perhaps you have been weighing up your options, assessing the risk. What would happen if I do this? What would happen if I do that? Maybe your person's doing that with that balancing act over there. Um, but love songs, musical messages, I feel like, yes, you're moving towards love. You're headed in the right direction. Nice, Virgos. All right, let's get uh, messages of love oracle cards. Different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. And maybe that's what you guys are working through. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. So maybe whatever you're going through, or maybe that was whatever was creating the sadness, or maybe whatever you're going through is um, protecting you from something. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. And that's that hermit card. Apology. You can expect the apology you want to hear. Yeah. So as as so one thing one thing to note is um if you guys are familiar with twin flame energies uh there's usually like a runner and a chaser, right? So um and and the relationship between the twin flames is one that uh causes it's not always gumdrops and lollipops, right? It's hard, it's difficult. It causes the other person to grow and and learn and go through the dark night of the soul um and vice versa and it's is an up and down um, until you guys decide to come together. Sometimes twin flames decide to separate. But um, I feel like this is just kind of 
par for the course in a twin flame connection, but I feel like it's going to be just fine and you are going to get the apology you, accept, you expect to hear. You're heading in the right direction. This is true love. All right, let's get a couple of Hermit Tarot cards, channeled love messages. Four Virgos. You are wrong. Do you even see me that way? We got a bunch. Light. What do you want? You already know. Be more selfish. You have so many choices and options. So I feel like, um, hmm. I feel like to me, so we have like, you were wrong, right? So to me, that sounds like, um, like a conflict, right? Like a, someone maybe that's kind of uh, the banter like you're wrong like you guys are getting into it you're wrong um uh, i do think that there's definitely light at the end of this tunnel i feel like you guys are headed in the right direction to get to that light um what do you want this is uh perhaps what that person your person is kind of trying to figure out what do you want what do you want um, you already know what you want. And then the bottom three cards, are, or the last three cards, just be more selfish. You have so many choices and options, and do you even see me that way? So you can take those how they resonate. I'm not really sure. Interesting, though, guys. I kind of feel like, um, I really kind of feel like this is just a twin flame connection, and that's how twin flame connections go. All right, let's get a couple of love vibes from King of Aloha. Please hold on for me. I'm clearing some things out of my life. I don't think we feel the same about this. I'm not the one for you. Ooh. Maybe that's what your person was thinking or feeling, but um, they just keep coming back because they know that you are. You're way out of my league. Or maybe it's their insecurities, right? I don't know. Hmm. Sometimes these message cards like really align and sometimes they just make me confused. <laughs> but I feel like these messages are for someone to listen to. So if, you, if it's not your message, that's okay. Just don't take it. If it is, if it resonates, then there you go. Um, these are Alice's Romance Oracle Volume 2. Um, I'm emotionally unavailable. I want you, but I shouldn't. I think you are hot. I'm lost without you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's finish off your read with an oracle card from Higher Intuition. Higher Intuition's Oracle. What does Virgo need to hear or see? Soar. It's like a Pegasus with um, rainbow wings. Let's see what this says. So your keywords are soar, small things, release, and leap. Um, Frederick Knight, I have no idea how to say this name, Knight, Nietzsche, it's, it's N-I-E-T-Z-C-H-I-E. So this is a quote from Frederick, Friedrich, I don't know. The higher we soar, the smaller we seem to those who cannot fly. Ooh. That's kind of a touchy thing, but I, I do feel like that's very important to think about like when we are Especially spiritually ascending um, the smaller we seem to those who cannot fly because we get further and further away from them um, If you have chosen Pegasus it is time for you to soar take charge of your creations and release the shackles from your spirit and soul No, it won't be easy. It takes time and it takes patience with yourself, but I believe in you Isn't it time to dream big? The next time you are in a hurry or in your own world or receive an interruption, know that it sometimes might be heaven sent. So many people who withdraw into themselves and put up walls. So many people withdraw into themselves and put up walls. The hurt from the past makes it easy to do. It is easy to smile or compliment a stranger or ask an elderly. I cannot talk today. It's that massage. I'm telling you, I'm so sleepy. Or ask an elderly neighbor if you can pick up something from them from the store, or maybe even surprising someone with an ice cream cone. You don't need wings to be an angel or a pegasus, just the mindset. 
Pegasus tells you that you've been looking too hard at the magic in your life when it is right there. It is a small gesture sometimes that help another find their wings, wings that were there the whole time. It could simply be a smile to a stranger, a fresh cut flower delivered to an elderly neighbor. It might be delivering coffee to a coworker or cutting the grass of a sick friend. We all have wings and we all have the ability to soar to any height that we want, but oftentimes we make the conscious choice to put them away. And even when we take them out, we forget our destination. Pegasus knows that it helps to have a cheering section as you soar and know that he is just that. Remember that you are a beautiful and wonderful soul that deserves the best. Even through dark times, now that, or sorry, know that once you find your wings, you find the light again. And the hardest part is to take that leap. But once you do, then you will soar. Did this not? Soar, Virgos. All right, guys, that's going to conclude the read for today. For Virgos, um, I hope you enjoyed the read. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, guys. I really do appreciate you watching. And until next time, take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.